Oh. Hey guys, anybody want to trade for my carrots? Uh, right. So, yeah, I'll just, uh, yeah. Guys, what do you have going on here? Some kind of defensive maneuver? Can I get in on this? Need another lab partner? Otherwise, I have to be with Mrs. Johnson. Not that she doesn't seem cool, but you know what I mean. Great! My family's on a help cake, and I'm really craving some fries. I'll meet you by the buses. Blow me out of the water? What are you talking about? I'm sorry for laughing. It's just... You guys are so off base. I don't want a boyfriend. I just wanted to be friends with all of you. Uh, you may recall that every time I walked up to you guys as a group, you acted like total weirdos. That's why I was trying to get to know you one-on-one. -on -one, or what you call dates. Ah! Uh, you know, maybe this was a bad idea. It seems like you guys just can't handle being friends with a girl. I'm gonna go hang out with my lab partner, Mrs. Johnson. Lincoln, what's in that thermos? I'll trade you my fruit salad for it. Yeah. Uh, how about swapping in their rice cakes for some hush puppies? Definitely. Any chance you'd trade your juice box for a tuna kit? Sorry, dude. That's where I draw the line. Just wanna throw it out there? Have you guys ever considered a scorpion formation? It's 22% more effective. Ooh, we're listening. Yeah, didn't know you were into the hipster look. You might- Whoa, he's actually doing it. Cool briefcase. I didn't know you were into vintage stuff. Insane. Go Lincoln! What do you think Lincoln's gonna wear today? That stuff doesn't make you boring. We all have our routines. Ugh, wish oh. I could go, but I promised my granny I'd help her set up a dating profile. She said she's ready to get back out there, so... The toilet's clogged! Stella? I thought you were helping your granny get back out there! I, uh... uh... Lincoln, the truth is, I think magic is boring. Snooze fest. To me, it's... We're sorry for lying, but we didn't want to hurt your feelings. How can you not like magic? Clyde and I had a blast at the last Brailster show. Actually, you had a blast. Clyde didn't want you to know, but he definitely didn't have fun. Yeah, I'm sure you do the same for him all the time. Hey guys, ready for Friday share? My granny and I found it at the flea market. It was broken and rusted shut, but she's a total wizard and helped me fix it. Well, I'm not giving up my music box. I'm finding the rat people. Oh, thanks guys. Now let's start gathering some intel. Right! There's recess. Let's go check out our leads. Girl Jordan had her earrings swiped in here. Keep your eyes peeled for any signs of the beast. Claw marks, squeaking. Music box. It's inside the wall. The rat. Smell that? The rat beast is down there. And so is my music box. Let's do this. Honestly, corn chips are ruined for me after the I get that. Same way these guys looked out for me. It's the whole school, and I'm pretty sure it was all a hoax. Weak. Sorry, Rusty. These are spoken for. Hmm. Bye. No, no, no. Phase two of the plan. Getting her parents to stall Mrs. J so there won't be any time left for Lincoln's parents. Don't worry. My parents will take at least that long. Stella. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. For sure. And we can totally help. Actually, thanks to my granny, I might be able to help. Yep. She's the master. She saw an oak tree in her auntie and predicted we'd move to Royal Woods. I see a meatball sub. That's not a sub. It's Clyde. At the Valentine's dance. It kind of looks like you're wearing a chef's outfit. You're happy. And you're dancing with someone. A uh, girl with brown hair. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll be more gentle. Still a little rough there. I'm very Hey guys, come look at the conveyor belt I rigged up. I think it'll help make things go a lot faster. I made it out of a treadmill your parents were getting rid of. See, we could do an assembly line and... Come on, we should probably go finish our history projects anyway. Sorry you guys weren't able to finish your history project. Oh wait, I'm in the girls' bunk with girl Jordan. Well, we found out Cheryl used to drive in Daytona, so... You sure you know where we're going? Yeah. Every Clyde? Clyde? You were in on this? You've done enough. I'm getting out of here. Anyone who wants to go back to the bunks, follow me. My luck, say Trying new stuff. But that doesn't mean we won't be friends. Sure thing. But we can't all fit. I have the solution. I don't think I can go through with it. Just think I miss pizza day already. So what's the plan, Lincoln? We need you in our class. Without you, everything's thrown off. Yeah. Without Lincoln, the formation's off. 
Our flank is exposed. Never trade my cup. Oh, no. Without Lincoln, the trade formula is off too. No, oh, go on. Can't you just say you're allergic to Canada or something? Here they go. Again. Okay. Water is freezing. <laughs> Let me check the GPS. <sighs> Sweet. Now we don't have a map. Canadian goose is cooked. We well, we thought about what you said, and you're right. We'll make this work. Quick, up there. Maybe here, check this out. I say, let's do this. Wait, where's Rusty? But our show could be different. That's right, Clyde. I'm here with the birthday boy, Mr. B. How does it feel to turn 62? I'm 34. <laughs> I'm here with Chef Pat. <sighs> and together, we're cooking up some trouble. Is that a shoe? That is weird. Who could be snapping up all the popcorn before anyone else can get to it? Guys, the real culprit got away. That's all right. Let's go find him. The Action News team is back in business. Right, we can we can do the pose later. Oh, guys, the talent show is this Friday, and we still haven't figured out our act. This is our big chance to show the school how cool we are. Guys, as Lincoln's friends, we can't let him do this magic thing. He's man, Rusty's already gone. Hey, don't worry, guys. I think I know someone who can help us. Duncan. Okay, we all worked really hard, so let's go out there and be cool. But don't let them know that we know we're cool. Because that's, that's not cool. <laughs> no, uh, those aren't my later hosen. They, uh, hold my pants up. We're all sorry. We should have believed in you more. I thought you were the last act. Who's performing now? Lincoln, use this stain removing pen. Oops, I guess that was a marker. Ugh, that's a no-go. My parents leave super early every morning. My mom has work and my dad has hot yoga. That's what there's gotta be another way to get to school. Wait, the eighth graders are wedging you now? <laughs> Rusty, did you just told ya? No wow. And karaoke? Why? We decided to go with Survivalist Chic. It was Zach and Mr. Bolofner's idea. So what do you do at a rock quarry? Wow, that's a lot of flippy syrup. It'll take hours and hours to clean. We should just head back to school. <laughs> so we're hiking to our own graves? Here it is. But you've never caught Bigfoot. Wait. Me too. Mr. B is actually really cool. Meet Jazzy. There's a reason Jazzy is in this carrier. He's one bad bunny. Wait, what? I don't know what's going on with Jazzy. I've tried everything. My parents said I have the weekend to get him under control or else he has to go live at my aunt and uncle's house. They're pro wrestlers, so nothing bothers them. You only said they could only afford to replace so many torn up rugs. And sofas. And minivans. <laughs> Lana, would you please train my rabbit this weekend? I'm desperate. I'd be happy to put my some trained lickety split. Thank you, Lana. Just let me know what you charge for your services. Crickets and worms. A lot of them. Blah. Thanks, Lana. I don't know how you figured everything out like that. Huh, that's a tw Wow, guess that's a twin thing, too. Ooh, pizza pressed. Hey, there's a pepperoni in my sleeve. Mm. Oh, Lincoln, isn't that your sister? Uh, Lincoln, super inspirational speech and all, but how do we get rid of Lenny and her friends? Hey, Amelia, our action news viewers want to know, what's in your locker? I got a basket. He was bad. Oh. And down south, it's gonna be hot, hot, hot. I sure that's too far. It was terrible. In fact, all of your reports have been terrible since you joined the team. But that's good. Cool. You can stop recording. You don't need to document our misery. Yeah, it's exhausting. And we have nothing to show for it. Oh, Me too. It's got rutabagas. All right, so that's the they weren't thrilled to see us at five in the morning, but we had to get your good name back. Um, what's going on with you two? Hey, kangaroos! We won't be doing our new show today. Instead, we're doing a game show to settle the question, who are the real best buds in school? Okay, let's meet our teams. Team one, Kali, begin round one. Each team has answered a series of questions about each other. Now, they'll reveal their answers to see how well they know their besties. Each correct answer is worth one point. Blinkin, what is your best friend Clyde's favorite movie? For Kalik and McLeod. For Rusty, what is Zach's favorite movie? Easy. Zach, what's Rusty's favorite meal? For team Zesty Spurtles. Yeah. Lincoln, what's Clyde's favorite meal? It's the score is tied one to one. It's time to move on to 
to round two. Teams will do a series of best friend challenges that represent trust, communication, and teamwork. Each one is worth a point. First challenge is the trust ball. Zesty Squirtle, you're up. Best friends food fight? <laughs> For the offer, though, maybe another chime. That's right, Lincoln. The student is inside at this very moment. Viewers, I'm going to try and get a statement from the suspect. Oh, hey, oh. you claim mercy through the sneak bomb, but are you sure? Uh, well, I was recording Christina and me working on our ooh girl harmonies, and I got this in the background. Uh, Yo, that could be anybody. This is Rusty Spokes, Dodds. Uh. <laughs> I found the suit rental sheet. <laughs> Anything could have done that. Attention, student. You guys, I know who framed Rusty. Principal Ramirez, meet us at the lockers immediately. News team, follow me. I know who the actual sneak bomb culprit is. Girl, Jordan. It's Johnny West. We're your crew. Table 10 at lunch. The action news team. We have to stick together. Guys, I think we just won. Here you go, Clyde. I made some pre-game quiche. I found the recipe on Zamir's blog. I can finally use ice for my juice and not my forehead. How about the timing of that, huh, guys? <laughs> go on, Clyde. Explore your feelings. Focus, Rusty. This isn't about dodgeball anymore. We were a bunch of jerks to Clyde. Morton, this is Stella Dow reporting. Someone's been letting their pet go potty here on the school field and not cleaning it up. Well, the action news team is here to reveal the poop betrayer. <gasps> here they come now. Time to bust some scum. Focus. Oh, no. Liam's right. The tuck's for sure. No. Oh, Patricia. Who you calling? Could it be? Oh, you've been following the nest all day and not one rat. It's your dad. Why didn't you say he was dating Catherine? Where we to that name. Hey, Rusty, don't take this the wrong way, but don't you have to work? Oh, no, no. Rusty, what's going on? Of course. Where are your dog squad? He's having a bad day. Just roll with it. We do now. There you have it. A marble traveling 15 miles per hour on six loop-de-loops toasts to grilled cheese to perfection. <sighs> because, well, I'm terrified of public speaking. Something happened at my last school. I'd like to present this next award to Mrs. Limskin. She's more than a great teacher to me. She's my mommy. I'm a mentor. And Miss Limskin is my mentor, not my mommy. My mommy is my mommy. I mean, my mother. Stella, you brushed your teeth today. Stella, you have hair? A face, chin up, elbows out, pop your hips, but maintain eye contact. I did the hen cross the barnyard. <laughs> Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Oh, wait, that's the wrong punchline. I'm butchering this joke. I'm Stella Zhao, and here I am standing on a table. And there... I'm representing our school at the state science fair tomorrow. Come check me out. That's easy, Miss Salter. The answer is bleep. Bleep. You betcha. I'm feeling great. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what came over me. I guess forks are overrated. <laughs> oh, well, I'll see you all later. I better go get my project ready. I won't let you down. For my presentation, I will discuss my coaster toaster. First, sleep up, let up, then you sleep loop, girl, sleep with prayer, bring and bring my back down. Oh, Zach, why did you do that? I was crushing it. You mean I acted like an alien in front of the whole school? Oh yeah. Well, that seals it. Now I'm definitely never speaking in public again. Hold on, stuff. <laughs> Are you guys crying? You know what? I'm gonna do this. Zach, I'm gonna need you to unhypnotize me. I'm actually okay I didn't win. I did something much better. I faced my fear. And Principal Ramirez, like, super proud of me. Well, what story do we leave with today? 
Meatloaf, typo on the lunch menu, or new trash can to the teacher's lounge. Is this outfit really necessary? Abominable. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Haley Chu.